Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jamie aka Reek here bringing you another Mr Pandaria talent video this time it's going to be the Hunter uh, we're going to do it in alphabetical order which you know, makes sense, kind of and um, I'm not using MMO Champion anymore because Blizzard have actually released a talent cal like calculator on their own website so the link will be in the description to that and uh, you can go there and you can look through the talents for yourself uh, you know, you can start picking out what ones are the best for you and you know you can save them you can link them to other people you can get discussions going you know so I think it's it's a good idea releasing the talent calculator this early and obviously it may change it may, it may change that's the right word um, so I might update them closer to the time maybe towards the end of the beta whenever that will be I'm not too sure but uh, yeah I'll definitely update these at some point so let's get it started. Level 15. First one is Frozen Arrows. Your arrows and the ammunition are chilled with frost, causing your auto shot to have 30% chance to reduce the target's movement speed for 30% for 10 seconds. That is amazing. That is such a good PvP talent, it's unreal. Like, just that all your auto shots have 30% chance to reduce their movement speed by 30%. That is ridiculous. That is such a good slow and it it may not be like super reliable because it's only 30% but that will happen a lot because you know you're the, the faster you're shooting the higher your haste is the better you know the more frozen arrows are going to come out so it's quite nice next one arcane arrows your arrows and ammunition are infused with arcane magic causing your auto shot to have 50% chance to restore 5 focus when it deals damage again absolutely amazing that one's more pve focused obviously unless you're like me and you just spam arcane shot in pvp because uh, at level 77 which my hunter is now it's not that difficult I've got some pretty ridiculous gear so uh, yeah that would be nice that is obviously a pve talent really and uh, I can see a lot of people taking that one because it is really nice uh, we'll move on to the next one your arrows and am oh, wait, venom tipped arrows your arrows and ammunition are mixed with serpent venom causing a stacking poison damage over time effect on the target dealing nature damage stacks up to five times so again this could be super useful in pvp and pve so at the moment just reading through these you've got you know all three choices are valid in pvp um, and then obviously arcane arrows and venom tipped arrows are viable in pve i wouldn't say frozen arrows that much because generally you don't slow people so um, I don't know which one I'd take depending on what type of hunter I am I guess marksmen would probably benefit more from arcane arrows if they're I know I suppose the talents will be different now wouldn't they so I was just about to say because they benefit you know some of the talents have buffs for arcane shot sure. but I guess it doesn't matter anymore so I don't know which one I'd take I'm sure there'll be maybe one that does more damage than the other possibly I'm not sure we'll see um, once I've you know given it a little bit of a go we might maybe find out which one's better for those so on to level 30 we've got silencing shot a shot that silences the target and interrupts spell casting for three seconds pretty standard it's all what it always used to be oh, excuse me next one is Wernstein a stinging shot that puts the target to sleep for 30 seconds any damage will cancel the effect when the target wakes up the sting causes 3093 nature damage over 6 seconds only one sting per hunter can be active on the target at a time so that's a good CC um, that would be good I'm guessing it works on uh, other players as well so that would be good in PvP and it's also good for AoE packs in say 5 mans so that would be quite nice to have so that's a pretty good one as well next one uh, is intimidation commands your pet to intimidate the target causing a high amount of threat and stunning the target for 3 seconds lasts for 15 seconds so that's pretty much you know if you're leveling up normally that would be a beast mastery talent but now you can have that in any spec so I prefer leveling as a marksman hunter because um, literally at my level it is aimed shot or uh, arcane shot and the uh, pretty much if they crit 
which I've got about 40% crit chance uh, they both they die in one in those two shots so you know I don't really need this at the moment but once I get a bit higher once you know my gears not quite so like overpowered uh, I could imagine this being really helpful intimidation so that would be really nice to have as a marksman hunter personally so and I'm not a big fan of beast mastery so I never really spec that so yeah again uh, they've all got their uses Obviously, intimidation would be my leveling one of choice, definitely, and I'll probably switch to Van Sting at the end. I never know how to say that. Is it Wern? Van? I'm not sure. And if you know, put leave a comment in the description below. Description comment section below. Guys, too early. Um, right, 45. Post haste, your movement speed is increased by 60% for four seconds after you use disengage. That's pretty cool. So if you disengage. And then you can run away as well, so that's quite nice. Or sometimes you disengage towards people, and that sounds really weird, but I've done it myself. Um, so you're chasing someone in what is it, Old Truck Valley, <coughs> across the middle. They're low health. They're running away. So it's a rogue, and he's popped sprint. Um, and there's a bot running across. You know, you target them, spin around, disengage, turn back around, and keep running. You catch up with that rogue and kill him really nice, really nice feeling that you've done that and he's like what the fuck and uh, yeah it's quite cool so I've used it for that and that extra movement speed increase would be nice just to catch up with that player and uh, own him some more uh, next one, evasiveness increase your chance to dodge attacks and resist spells by 100% for 3 seconds when you use disengage so this is again after disengage but you'll be you know you'll dodge a lot and 100% wow so for 3 seconds you'll be immune to everything you'll be like it'll be like a 3 second bubble pretty much so that'll be quite nice again sort of a pvp talent I'd imagine less of a not really a pve one I can see post haste kind of being useful in pve because sometimes you have got them you know get that movement speed a little bit quicker but um, so far not seen a pve one personally right last one exhilaration when you disengage you're instantly healed for 15% of your total health when you successfully land again uh, has its uses in PvP and PvE I can see that kind of being useful if your healers are struggling um, in five mans I could see it being useful as well but um, there's not one that's like screaming out to me to use in PvP uh, PvE <laughs> I really should sleep more before doing these um, maybe they've all got their uses obviously um, they all post haste obviously if you've got to move out somewhere um, evasiveness if you're taking a lot of damage you can just pop it and you know you'll instantly be immune for 3 seconds to give your healers a chance to top you up and again acceleration is just helping your healers out with topping you up so they've all got their uses it's just I think that would be very situational so you'd need your whatever it is the thing that allows you to change your talent I'd say you'd need that quite often for this middle one this level 45 one depending on what fight you're in but yeah we'll go on to level 60 we've got crouching tiger hidden chimera whenever you, you are hit by a melee attack the cooldown of your disengage is instantly reduced by 4 seconds whenever you are hit by a ranged attack or spell the cooldown of your deterrence is instantly reduced by 8 seconds these effects have a 2 second cooldown that is awesome I have to admit that is awesome so uh, again hugely useful in PvP um, like massively useful in PvP uh, I can see it good in levelling as well um, sometimes uh, PvE if your tank's not doing his job properly um, it's kind of a panic button I suppose that would be quite nice but for the most part god <laughs> that is a PvP talent for me. Next one, uh, arrows of the iron uh, arrows. Aspect of the iron hawk. Your aspect of the hawk now reduces all direct damage taken by fifteen percent. So aspect of the hawk is the one that increases attack power. I'm pretty sure by fifteen percent or something, ten percent maybe. It's yeah, it's around there. And now it reduces all direct damage taken as well. So that's quite nice. Um, that would obviously be good for PvE, PvE you know, stop a bit of uh, raid damage, although 
it says direct damage so I'm not sure how useful that would be if you've got a mob on you obviously know how to sort that out but you shouldn't really have that on you so if it was AoE damage that would be quite nice I could imagine that would be really helpful but um, direct damage again not too you don't really get direct damage too much so we'll see while your pet is active sorry next one spirit bond while your pet is active you and your pet will regenerate 2% of total health every 5 seconds that is pretty awesome I have to say so uh, it's quite a few times I've had to pop men pet quite a few times in like boss fights just to keep my pet alive but if they're regenerating 2% health every 5 seconds you know that would be a bit more a bit easier to heal through um, I wouldn't have to waste so much focus oh my god <laughs> I'm watching someone yawn constantly on my screen but I'm not <coughs> um, yeah so that's pretty cool as well um, I could see it being really useful in PvP as well so, you know, generally you've always got your pet out and that will give you a little bit of health regen uh, again with like if you had that and exhilaration you've got some pretty nice self heal there I've got to be honest so that would be pretty good exhilaration was the disengage and then you instantly heal yourself so yeah that was quite nice Anyway, moving on to level 75, we got Fervor, is it Fervor? Yeah, I guess so. Instantly restores 50 focus to you and your pet. <clears throat> so that would be kind of a a cooldown, I guess. It's kind of like, for a death knight, it's the empowered runes or something it's called. Uh, it instantly reduces, like, um, finishes the cooldown on all of your, like, runes. So you've got a full set of runes again. <laughs> right. I want to get this video out. Right. So yeah, that's kind of like that. It gives you your energy back, and you know, it allows you to do more stuff. So that's quite nice. It's on a pretty short cooldown at two minutes, so you can use it quite often. And I probably would be. That is a really nice PVE one. You got readiness. When activated, this ability immediately finishes the cooldown on all hunter abilities, and that's on a three minute cooldown. So again, that's quite nice. I mean, uh, I could see that being being really useful. Um, some abilities, you know, if you're a beast mastery hunter, you normally get bestial wrath. I think it is. So readiness uh, with that would be really nice. I have to say, that'd be quite cool. I'm not sure if there's you got that rapid fire I think it is that would be quite you know if you readiness that and uh, you yeah, know that would be quite cool as well but um, I'm not sure we'll see uh, thrill of the hunt the next one you have a 15% chance when you use your when you use fire a shot what, what is that auto shot it means right you have 15% chance when you use fire a shot that costs focus to instantly regain 100% of the focus cost of that shot. So basically, when you use a shot that uses focus as a resource, you instantly you can you got a 15% chance to instantly regain 100% of that focus. So that's quite nice. So basically, making it free cast 15% of the time. Which, uh, if it works, you know, if it procs regularly, then uh, it could be good. You could like n basically never run out of focus if you've uh, if it's popping regularly, but you know. <laughs> Again, <clears throat> uh, it's pretty much all about cooldown regeneration or focus regen. So it's quite nice this uh, level seventy five stuff. We're going to level ninety now. The last three. Your first one is flash freeze. Your freezing trap no longer has a cooldown, but only one target can be affected by it at a time. So, uh, freezing trap. Which one's that? I think that's the one that's on the ground. Um, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Yeah, it must be because you know only one. <gasps> yeah, the other one, which doesn't make sense. Frost trap puts them in a block of ice. Right? Freezing trap. Um, spreads frost all over the floor. Doesn't make sense. They should have swapped them around. Freezing trap frees them in a block of ice. Frost trap puts frost on the floor. Just saying, Blizzard, come on, sort it out. It makes no sense. Um, right, so yeah, no longer has a cooldown, but only one target can be affected by it. So yeah, I suppose you can spam it, kind of. <laughs> you know, you can like link it. 
in a row so they're basically fucked for about half an hour of walking uh, that would be quite funny if you actually like fully CC'd someone with freezing trap that would be quite cool next one black ice improves the movement speed reduction of your ice trap by additional 10% and when you move through your ice trap you gain 50% movement speed for 4 seconds ice trap, what the hell is ice trap? I don't think I use ice trap or do I? Is, is there three freezing traps? I can't actually remember how many freezing traps there is. I know there's one that puts them in a block of ice, and there's one that puts frost on the floor. I can't remember which one. Is there another one? I don't think there is. Pretty sure there's only two of them. Unless ice trap is the one that encases them in an ice tomb. But that wouldn't make sense. Um, I don't know seems weird to me. Um, maybe there's another one that I'm missing out that I've never actually used on my hunter. That would be quite bad if there's a trap that I've never used. But there we go. Um, I'm not sure about that one. I don't know what trap that's talking about. If you know, let me know. Alright, Transmorph Trap. Places a nature trap laced with a special toxin that will transmorph the next enemy beast enemy into a beast, reducing the movement speed by 60% and causing them to be unable to use any of their normal abilities for up to one minute. The trap will exist for one minute. So that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if they'll get a, like, a special set of abilities, because it says they'll be unable to use their normal abilities for one minute. So I'm guessing they'll get some kind of abilities that go with the beast form that they're in. I don't know. Uh, the movement speed reduced by 60 pence as well so that's pretty bad um, yeah that's quite a lot <laughs> that could be, could be quite nice if you're bursting down a paladin or something you pop this just before he hits bubble and then just just wreck the rest of his health uh, that could be quite nice and if you put down like a freezing trap before and you drink it out of that and then transmorph trap after that He's pretty much screwed. That'd be quite nice. Um, you know, that could be quite useful. So that was the hunter talents. They're all really good. Uh, there's some that are going to be really hard to choose from. Like you know, some of them are really situational, like the level 45 ones. Definitely all about the disengages, the health regen, the dodge chance, and the speed increase. Those three, are so situational. Depends on where you are. You know what you're doing at the time to which one of those I choose. So. Yeah, that was a look at the Mr. Pandaria Hunter talents. Hope you found this helpful, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more talent guides. If your class hasn't been done yet, be patient. I am trying to do these. Um, you know, I am a gamer at the end of the day, and I do like to play. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.